what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in to another video man shout out notification squad hope you're doing well so yeah man you read right we're gonna be doing the little moosey style vocal effect blue fago using stock vsts within fl studio so i know you want to stay tuned for that man definitely smash that like button as well as to subscribe if you're new to the channel and yeah i've been seeing the comments so i will be doing this video today man you know if you're new to the channel definitely consider checking the links in the description for my vocal recording course vocal mixing course as well as vocal enhancer which is really going to help you get up to speed when it comes to mixing and recording within fl studio it'll also help you better understand my template format which i believe is a bust up way to get good sounding vocals and just to keep things organized so yeah man let's hop in the computer Squad up. All right, man, we're in the computer right now. I'm gonna show you, you know, this track that we have right here, the remix of Blue Fago. And yeah, we got some stock vocal chains going on, pretty cool. So stick around, let's get it. Three more hoes, pull up, I'm fucking shit, that's how it goes. Baby, I'm coming shit. Money shit, running up a check, gotta get that. Ooh, how you do that? Ooh, how you do that? Smoking on packs, smoke a pack, smoke a tax. Baby, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. Whole four up, now I think I'm leaning. Bowl of backwood up, I'm blue dreaming. Sleep in the sky, I'm still scheming Shawty so bad, but she treat me right I don't play games, we gon' be I Cash in the vault, we could book us a flight I just pulled up, can't reply tonight Alrighty, there you go man, FL Studio Mix going on. So yeah, pretty much this track man is pretty basic. Uh, we have a main vocal and we have a few stutter effects and that kind of thing, but also we have one double channel which you can also use as an ad lib channel. And as you can see, everything is laid out as follows. So you know, if you're new to the template format, what I like to do is have a microphone input channel, which is basically your dedicated channel for adding your microphone to, uh, because the power of that is that you can actually, or the benefit of that is that you can, you know, record your main vocals, okay? And then you can also then hold in the control button and then navigate towards your doubler or something like that. So that way you can, uh, you know what I mean, uh, change up your vocal chain. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So control, left click, control, left click. So, you know, the first thing that we have, obviously, as I said, is our main vocal. And then we have our double. So that's where our two channels are. So, and then, yeah, so the main vocal then goes to our vocal chain, which then we kind of mix the vocal. So, yeah, if I was to disable the vocal chain you can kind of see what's going on right here let's just go to around there then i'll turn off the vocal chain all right so as you can hear right there the vocal kind of sounds a bit untreated unleveled and that kind of thing but once we turn everything back on we've also got all of our effect sends right here which add with the track which we'll run through just now but if we turn on the vocal chain so as you can hear right there we get that kind of brightness that nice sheen we also get that weight from all of the uh, parallel channels so yeah man we'll kind of start with the vocal chain so first thing i have right here is the fruity blood overdrive and the reason i've added this is to create a nice kind of overdrive sound effect oh yeah by the way i'm sure you want to check out the um the stuff over here so i've got the auto tune look man you know no one is using fruity pitcher if you if that's all you have use it but we're all using antares uh, so that's the one thing that I'll, I'll just leave you can just check the preset out right here and i'll delete that so you can open the flp fully stock you can use the picture as well as the noise gate let me just show you this is just what i was using in my template but you can actually use an alternative free noise gate which is the fruity limiter actually and uh it would look just like this for those who are unaware of this you actually have this noise gate right here so you could use this instead of the ns1 i'm just so used to using ns1 but what you do is you'd increase the threshold right here okay and then you turn down the gain and then you can actually see if i just enhance this you can see that little yellow line right there if you bring it up to around about there you'll kind of see your noise in your microphone 
um, you can actually just bring that up and then kind of kill the noise off and it'll actually reduce the noise so you could use that as an alternative for a noise gate you'll find it in the template um, but yeah you can also use the vocal enhancer for as vocal enhancer right here which will give some beef to your vocal you can turn up the treble and that kind of thing but when it comes to the vocal chain I use this to pretty much just bring in a bit of kind of analog character distortion to our vocal sound not too crazy but it is going to help you get that kind of shiny sound so that's the first thing i do before hitting any plugin after that man what i use is a bit of fruity compression so fruity compressor and as you can see these settings are nice and simple i've got a fairly long attack well not really a long attack it's kind of a medium attack which is really just going to help smoothen out the vocal uh, before we hit all of the other plugins so it is nice to do a little bit of compression before you know doing all of your processing so that's how we kind of get that consistency. So after that, man, this is where we get that really kind of uh, different sounding tone. As you can see, this EQ is set pretty crazy. Really had to tweak the, the vocal to, to help it kind of, you know, fit that same uh, moosey sound. Definitely up front and trebly. If you want even more of a trebly sound, what you can actually do is you could um, just bring this down a little bit up to a point that you actually like. And it'll definitely give you a more uh, kind of up front and bright gritty sound. So after that, I did a little bit more EQ. I just found this kind of region right here, man which is 284 it might be subjective to you so i just recommend you know just scrolling around and just kind of finding out where that frequency is and um you know kind of just notching it out you know but yeah it's just a little bit of eq kind of a toning eq we can kind of call that the tone eq if you get what i'm saying you know so yeah man after that i've got these two compressors and this is kind of where the secret sauce comes in this is actually the fruity ds another method i like to use to help to tame vocals so just pay attention to this top one right here and then the second one um is doing a little bit more compression but just pay attention to the red lines moving up uh, means or indicates compression so So as you, can see, as you can hear right there, it just kind of trims away some of the high end of the track. That's why I've got it in parallel because we're doing a whole lot of compression. But if we blend in the original, we kind of get a mix of both. So, you know, that's what we do. And then again, this is just a secondary one because we don't have um, all that many bands with this multi-band. It would be pretty cool if we could have added more. But yeah, after that, man, we've got this kind of cool flangey effect. And the way you can achieve a flanger with the Fruity Delay 3 is actually by turning the uh, time knob all the way down. And then you can actually just mess with the offset and then mess with the uh, modulation. And then you're good to go. And then make sure that it's 100% wet, 0% dry. And then you can just blend it in with this knob. Or you could just blend, you know, these two together. I just prefer having this as the master kind of wet dry knob. But yeah, you know, if, I, if you see me turn that up a little bit, let's just kind of go to a different part right here. So, you know, if I turn that up. So as you can hear right there, just adds that kind of nice subtle spread to our vocal. After that man, I use a bit of Maximus, haven't used the Maximus in a long time. I really can't remember what preset I used, but I did use it to kind of create a sense of warmth within the vocal. Even though we are going pretty crazy on boosting the treble, and we have reduced a lot of the kind of... um you know lower mids of the track we can kind of bring an overall sound to the vocal i find maximus does that quite well so what i do is i actually turn the the pre knob up i use these settings right here and then i just um you know just kind of compress the lower mids of the vocal and you kind of get this nice warmth sound going on so after that man this is a cool trick i learned um mixing kick drums in fl studio you can actually try this out for yourself turn the threshold all the way down and then um blend in your 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 soft clipper 50 percent 49 percent and you're kind of going to get half a clip kick but half a, a original kick and it's really just going to help your, your kick kind of sound harder so you can also do that with vocals you can do this with synths and anything really that you want more kind of growth out of but you don't want um you know to kind of go too crazy and then this is a really nice plugin to do that so yeah man afterwards we did a little bit more compression just to kind of finalize the vocal sounds so as you can see threshold set right there and we've got this red line right here means saturation so it's kind of soft clipping the vocal and uh yeah we just do a little bit of a ratio right here i think it's about a one to two ratio one to five to one ratio really just nice and subtle and then we can just adjust the 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 final output level of the vocal so that's where you can do that um yeah that's pretty much all we do man on the double right here i actually i want to change this right here i've realized that this is on so we'll do that right now we've got this uh double right here just want to show you that the footy plugins do actually sound good so uh, if we were just to solo this 
So that sounds pretty cool. But what we can do is we can turn that off. And what does it sound like? All right, so we can add in a fruity um, flangus and then we can just uh, mod that kind of in. We'll do something like this. And then since we also have an EQ added here, we'll just kind of create an EQ really quickly. And then you have replicated the waves doubler. So yeah, there you go. Nice kind of roll off. What was that? 324. We'll find that 324. You know, and there you go. Oh, how you do that? Oh, how you do that? And boom, that's kind of uh, our new sound. So yeah, man, this is really the double, not much going on. As you can see, we've got that same EQ from the vocal chain, just added on here to give it consistency. But what makes it sound kind of different is this reverb right here. So obviously you could turn this down if you wanted to use this for ad lib strictly. And then you could actually attach um, the smoothie doubler to the vocal chain if you wanted to use it as an ad lib. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. And you know, mixed together, they sound pretty good. So, you know. Get that, oh how you do that, oh how you do that, smoking on pa- You know what I mean? So yeah, that's pretty much all we have going on. We also have these stutters right here. A lot of people ask me how to do the stutter effect. And really it's just copying the front of a word. Make sure obviously your, your project is synced up. You better do that first before you even start recording. Otherwise you can't really undo it. As you can see, we've got everything synced up. Kick drum, clap, kick drum, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, so if I was to just solo this. Oh. You know what I mean? Really that ooh, ooh, ooh is just this, right? So if I was to... Oh. And then what you can do is you can make all of these unique, make unique, and then you could um, mess around with them independently. And as you can see, I've kind of pitched them. You can pitch them, you know, if you want to go crazy. Oh. You know what I mean? But that's quite cool with me. Get that. Get that. Oh, how you do that? Oh, how you do that? Smoking on packs, smoke a pack, smoke a pack. Baby, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it up. So, and then there you go. As you can see, that is just pitched all the way up. And then the other one was pitched all the way down. I think it is right here. Smoking on tracks. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, not much else going on. I'll leave you to check out the uh, the mastering chain. Pretty cool uh, effects. You know, we got this cool reverb. Got some delays going on. You know, just to get that kind of nice uh, atmospheric sound. We also got a flangus. Most important now in the session is this uh, Muzi distortion, which is just going to help you get a bit more kind of background sound added to your vocals. So if I was to bring this in, um. Baby, throw it back, throw it back, throw it back. Hold for up, now I think I'm leaning. Roll it back, put up, I'm blue dreaming. Gotta mix it all up, cause I love the feeling. Fell asleep in the sky, I'm still scheming. Shawty so bad, but she treat me right. You know what I mean? It's just a bloody overdrive, blood overdrive into a telephone effect, into a delay, doing a bit more of that kind of uh, flangey sound effecting, and then going into a multi band to kind of over compress it. And that is the sound that I can achieve with the Muzi sound. Um, you know, definitely check out the link in the description if you're interested in this. Copy free presets if you're into that. And uh, yeah, you know, get mixing, stay motivated. Definitely check the links in the description, vocal recording course, all of that, as well as some of my other videos at the bottom. There's some cool recommendations that you can check out. Uh, you know, noise gate video, um, BPM analyzer, that kind of stuff. But yeah, man, hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll check you out next time. Stay well. Peace out. <laughs>